Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We welcome you today to our very special Anglican service. Our dear sister Pamela is resting this week and we pray for her, we bless her, we love her, we build her up and we trust will be with us again next week singing as she beautifully does in the Anglican service. But today we have two Anglican services joined together in one, the 19th and 20th, <coughs> excuse me, after Trinity. First to collect for the 19th Sunday after Trinity. Oh God, for as much as without thee, we are not able to please thee. Mercifully gra gra grant that thy Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And what a prayer that is, that we be constantly led by the Spirit of God, moved by the Spirit of God, declaring His glory. Now to collect for the 20th after Sunday, which is as follows. O almighty and most merciful God, of thy bountiful goodness keep us, we beseech thee, from all things that may hurt us, <coughs> that we, being ready both in body and soul, may cheerfully accomplish those things that thou wouldst have done through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, two readings of the epistle. First reading of the epistle for the 19th after Trinity, <coughs> excuse me, and then the 20th after Trinity. This is from Ephesians 4. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. You know, in the Bible there are two Jesuses. The Jesus, the only begotten Son of God who came down to this earth born of a virgin, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life and then there is a counterfeit whatever God looks to do Lucifer looks to counterfeit and there's another Lucifer that looks to bring an apparent form of love and kindness and healing but with so many strings attached to controls commonly being brought about through his Jezebels. They are all over the church and need to be recognized as such. They have little respect for authority. So I say to you today to give heed, give understanding to what we say. Give understanding to this word which we give so powerfully that whosoever believeth in him goes born again, washed by the blood, those joined to the Lord are one spirit, branches of the vine, members of his body, flesh and bones. But, as Paul declared to the Ephesians, Ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have, have, have heard him, have been taught by him, 
as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. For those who call themselves Christian of the old man, rather than the new man. Upon Jesus, look for in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will go strangely. of his glory and grace. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that if any minister grace unto the hearers grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. This is the life of real love, not Jezebelic love. This is the life of the agape, the agape love of Christ that sent him to the cross the only begotten Son of God that in future, not therefore the only begotten, but that in effect, as the word declares, we be begotten of Him. Oh, hallelujah, what a Savior. And the epistle reading from Ephesians 5, this time for the 20th Sunday after Trinity, reads as follows. See then that ye work circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not Therefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Lord, I believe all things are possible. Lord, I believe, Lord, I read. 
receive, Lord, I receive, all things are possible, Lord, I receive. The Gospel reading for the 19th after Trinity is as follows. Jesus entered into a ship. We're in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9. Passed over and come into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore, think ye evil in your hearts, for whether is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Refine thy name. Oh, let's just praise him. Go on, refine thy name. Glory. of praise here today then said he to the sick of the palsy since we love thee we worship and adore thee glorify thy name in all the earth hallelujah Glorify, come on, glorify thy name, glorify thy name, glorify thy name in all the earth. So this be our prayer today. May thy Holy Ghost move throughout all the earth, O oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. With men, women, and children coming to the Lord. And just as the sick of the palsy came unto thee, Lord Jesus, 2,000 years ago, you have not changed. And those watching this telecast now can receive the Lord Jesus just as they always have been able to. Oh, come unto Jesus, ye sinner. Come and repent at the cross of Calvary. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. This is such an anointed time today. Oh, we praise you, O oh Lord. We give you glory. They said, this man blasphemeth. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, Go unto thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God who had given such power unto men. Oh, we praise you, O oh Father. Oh, we glorify thy name. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord. 
We come to thee in Jesus' name and lie at thy feet. And ask you into our hearts today in all its fullness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, we love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. And now, finally, the gospel reading, this time for the 20th Sunday after Christmas. Matthew's Gospel 22. Jesus said, Hallelujah. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king who made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them the day were bidden to the wedding. They would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. Any ox and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it. Praise you, O oh Lord. Again he said, he sent forth other servants saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. He sent forth his armies and destroyed these murderers, burnt up their city. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready. But they who were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways. And as many as ye shall bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. The wedding was furnished with guests, and when the king came in, to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment, and he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, and not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to his servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away. Cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called but few are chosen. Are your garments spotless and white as snow? They can be today by coming to the cross of Calvary. And as you give your life to him, you will find this precious Lord Jesus. Say unto you, come, come to this wedding feast. But you must be wearing the garments of praise for the Spirit of Heaven. And as you come today, He will prepare you for this great feast by giving you His garments, His belt of truth, His breastplate of righteousness, His shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace, His helmet of salvation, his shield of faith. And as we take this sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, the Holy Spirit, bringing back to remembrance that which we have learned, we move in power, we move in glory, we move in might and dominion, that this be the day the Lord has made, and as you come unto Him, 
<coughs> and receive him, you will be washed clean, whiter than snow. As the old hymn writer wrote, Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed with the blood of the Lamb? We thank you for watching this 19th and 20th Sunday after Trinity service with Reverend Deacon David P. Griffiths. We love you. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you again soon on ECC TV, the Bible College of Wales Original Vision. And as you give your tithes, as you give your offerings into this cause, you will see men, women, and children perfected all over the world for the work of the ministry. We give you all the praise and all the glory. God bless you. Thank you.